What's up everyone? Welcome all of you back to my channel Anthony Lee GMC and the video today that I will share with you is about how to start your social media marketing for beginner. Yeah. So the reason that I sharing the video today is I just watched a content on entrepreneur.com that they sharing about 10 steps that can help you to start your social media uh, marketing. For, so I decided that okay, this is 10 step. I think that is quite right and good. But after two years study my master degree about global media and communication from the top university in Australia, uh, the yeah the University of Melbourne, I get quite a good knowledge about how to do the social media marketing and I think that I can figure out more exactly that's what the entrepreneur.com that they're sharing for you in the article into this video okay so let's do it so what is social media marketing the first thing that you need to clarify for yourself so actually in the very basic uh, term to understand social media marketing is mean that you use social media to do your marketing yeah it's very basically right so actually before that we have the traditional uh, marketing and modern marketing so traditional marketing maybe you can use is the newspaper tv radio and now this um, online marketing that's the digital marketing that you can use is uh, social media marketing email marketing and um, uh, website marketing yeah so anything that's on digital that's help your brand to build up uh, the brand awareness and to create the list and uh, bring more customers to you so that is marketing yeah so social media marketing this is the part of the digital marketing so it means that you will focus on doing your marketing stuff on social media uh, so right so now in 2020 we have uh, around seven big social media platform thus if you really want to do social media ma marketing you should be considered to do uh, one of them or should be several and it depends on your potential customer and your customer where they usually use so the seven social media platform that uh, I share with you is the first one is Facebook yeah more than uh, 2 billion people are using Facebook now the second one is Instagram the third one is uh, Twitter the number four is LinkedIn and number five is um, TikTok and number six is Snapchat and number seven is um, what we use oh, Pinterest yeah so this is the seventh big social media platform that's right now. So the uh, priority is different, it depends on you, okay? So the first thing that is you need to determine your goal on social media marketing. It means that you need to clarify, okay, what is your real goal on uh, doing marketing on social media? Do you want is bring more brand awareness or do you want to create a, a, it generates more leads for your website or for your company or you want to bring more traffic to your website yeah so it depends on what is your goal and you need to be more specific as possible so it gives you more idea about what you need to do to make your goal to come true when you do social media marketing because if you have uh, the unclear goal how can you grow the good strategy to develop your branding on social media and the second one is evaluate your results so it means that you will need to clarify okay what the result you have right now do you have the cameraman or do you have the copywriter to create the content for you do you have a uh, designer graphic designer or you do everything by yourself so it depends on how big does your team have your resource have and what kind of equipment you have and how much your purchase have that's you will decide that okay which social media platform that you should focus on and how often you should appearance on that social media platform because actually to create the content on social media it takes a lot of time and effort especially to create a good piece of content so if you just have a one person to do all the thing like that you need to break 
clarify about what you can do and how many times does you can commit to do every week to create the number of the content on social media and the number three is you need to know who is your audience yeah so needs to know your audience is is the very important step in marketing but especially on social media marketing is become more and more on important different, because on different social media platform they have a different kind of demography so when you choose for example like if now you choose facebook you can reach around 2 billion people and now around 45 percent of the facebook users are over 40. so this is the target audience for you if you want to target for the people who the adults people but if you really want to target on the gen jet uh, so the people who born around 2002 and later on so you will want to use a TikTok or Instagram or the young people around uh, 20 to 30 they also use Instagram so you will need to clarify okay who is your audience uh, the age group the gender and when they usually use social media platform and what platform that they usually use so when you know exactly that's who you want to target on so you can decide that's okay which social media platform that you will use and what type of content that you will create on that platform because for example like if you are the fashion brand and you want to target to the people from 20 to 30 years old so you will love to use the content on instagram and maybe on TikTok uh, to approve the people but linking is not really good place for you to start with the create the content and approve your ideal um, client on uh, social media platform because on LinkedIn they focus more on professional things so if you are fashion you, you want, want something that's more colorful so Instagram and TikTok this will be the good platform for you if you are the fashion brand and you want to uh, promote your brand to more the people between the age at 20 to 30 years old and the number four it create the good and valuable content yeah so everyone can create content on social media today but if you are the brand and you want to grow your brand on social media platform you need to create not, not only the quantity but also the quality one and bring more value for the client because every single day we have a million content upload on social media platform for example like facebook instagram million of picture image and uh, video upload every single day so if you don't create the valuable content on the social media platform that you're going to approach your client you will very hard to be exposed by your potential client as well as you will very hard to get more viewer and to reach your uh, social media marketing goal and yeah. the step number five it integrates your marketing efforts so it means that when you create the piece of content on social media platform for example instagram when you create the piece of content on instagram you will want to sharing it across a different social media platform because at the point of the brand to create a good piece of content on social media platform it takes a lot of time effort and money i know so you will not only want to use it one time and on one platform like instagram but you will want to cross post to sharing is maybe on your instagram and then you sharing on your facebook and you share make a video sharing on tiktok or sharing on linkedin right so sharing cross post and adjust the caption and adjust the image or adjust the video a little bit to um suitable with the platform that will help you to be exposed to more client and more viewer for your piece of content yeah so try to apply whenever you create a new piece of content let's do cross post different social media platform that gives you the best chance to get the new uh, follower and get the new client oh. and the step number six is create your schedule it's very important on social media uh, to create the schedule content because 
to success on social media it take a lot of time and it require you to create a lot of content for example like me when i create content on social media i create content on instagram facebook linkedin twitter uh tiktok so every single day i create around 10 to 20 piece of content every single day so i mean that you need to have a, a schedule so it have you to can control to create a bunch of content at the same time so it have to save you the time to publish content so the tool that i recommend for you is you can use like the tool like later so i use later it helped me to save a lot of time when i create content and can schedule on later so it helped me to public on instagram it helped me to public on twitter publish on facebook automatically so in general i just need around one to two days per week that i can prepare up to hundreds of content for the whole week yeah so when you have the good schedule you know that's okay what time you want to public and which social media platform you want to public it gives you more freedom to do another things in your business so, because when you do social media marketing you want to bring more clients to your business but you also don't want it to take off your time right but if you don't have the good schedule I promise with you, you will cost whole day to prepare piece of content just for social media marketing. So, I mean, I used to face with this situation before, but after years training and studying in a professional way, I know that was the problem. And now I figure out and just spend one or two days per week to create a lot of piece of content for myself. And the step number seven. So you need to adapt to the Pareto uh, rule. So if you don't know about Pareto rule, it means that uh, the rule 80-20. So 80% what the thing you do is create 20% of the result and 20% of what you do is create 80% of the result. In social media marketing, the Pareto rule is can understand like you will spend 80% of your content and your time on social media marketing to create the content that's been the valuable for people and you just spend 20% of the time and your efforts to create the content for self uh, promotion yeah because if you spend all the time to create the content for self promotion people will not want to watch this one people will not think like okay this guy or this channel this brand they just want to self promote for themselves this don't bring any valuable for me but when you focus on bring the valuable for them, they say, okay, I know that they want to promote for themselves, but I also know that they bring a lot of valuable things for me. It's not just about self-promotion, but it's also about bring valuable for the viewer. Yeah, so make sure that you will apply the rule 80-20 for create content on your social media marketing because this will be the thing that keep your viewer, your audience stay longer on your profile and be uh, a support to your profile by more follower and more comment more viewer number, and yeah. the step number eight is mean give up controlling so what does it mean it means that please stop controlling the content on social media in the way that you will just accept the people who say positive thing about your brand and you will don't allow the people to say negative thing about your brand actually the positive and negative is both good on social media marketing because you know on the algorithms on facebook and youtube and any social media platform they increase more command and more reaction so when you have a lot of hatred and you also have a lot of supporter let them control the conversation so your supporter will support you to talk back to the hater and the hater they also give more command for your content so it's have the algorithm recognize that okay people want to talk more about the content so the algorithm of social media platform they will promote your post to more people yeah so you don't have any reason that to reduce uh, uh, to block the people who say negative thing about your brand because on social media platform everyone they can say whatever they want don't care about this one your what you need to care is really bring the valuable content 
And if you see, okay, people they send me the uh, the rubbish talk or the uh, bad talk, uh, them. you okay. will answer them in the way that, okay, thank you for your supporting. We know that, uh, okay, for example, right? So, like they say, okay, uh, your brain is very bad in this way, that way, this way, and you will don't say the feedback like that, like the negative way with them because when you also say negative way, it means that you encourage them to say more negative and you are be controlled by them. But in the way that when they say negative thing and you don't want them to say a negative thing to you, so you will say in the positive thing with them. So you say thank you to them for the feedback and you will try to figure out that's what in the ways to make your content or make your products to be the better and thank you for what they supporting so in the way from the header and then you they receive the feedback from uh, you the owner of the brand and give the positive vibe for them so they will become more calm down and they want to support you become from the hater to become a supporter yeah, this is the way that a lot of branding and uh, influencers are doing right now. And this is a tip for you. And the tip number nine. Yeah, the final tip. This is keep learning on the trending and on competitor. Because you will not grow if you don't learning from the competitor and trending. And when you can approach the more content and uh, learning more from the competitor know what is on the trending you can create a better content and avoid the mistake that your competitor is doing so keep learning and creating more content on your social media so it will help you to uh, bring your brand to the next level on marketing on digital marketing yes and this are nice step about how to do social media marketing that I learned from entrepreneur.com but actually they just say everything in general and this is the thing that I will give you more in the detail in this video because after two years study master degree about this field global media and communication I figured out a lot of things more than just the thing in general like this and I would love to sharing with you more content about digital media uh, um, uh, sorry <laughs> about so I will love to sharing with you more content about digital marketing, social media, e-commerce, and productivity tips. Maybe sometime in when I create, uh, but my field is still more focused on digital marketing and social media and e-commerce. Okay, and make sure to subscribe for my YouTube channel to watch more content about how to and growing together on uh, this field. Okay, thank you and see you in the next video and Anthony Lee GMC. Bye-bye.